Hi, this is Curtis from TigerData.vn. In this video tutorial, we'll be covering a range of topics in order to set up your POS using XAMPP. Uh, XAMPP is for offline installations. We'll be using also a couple cool tricks to add tablets. We'll be setting up the printers, setting up the floor plan and uh, table layouts. Uh, we'll be adding and editing new products. And finally, um, adding an actual customer's order and uh, processing the order through the POS. This is step one of the video tutorial. We'll be installing a new POS. So for this, we'll need XAMPP already installed on your system. And we can just open up XAMPP. We'll have our archive, and we just need to drag over these files into our working directory. So we'll create a new folder. We'll call this, um, let's see, POS. And just drag those files in and wait for them to extract might just take a little bit of time and there we go so once that's extracted we can open up our config.php file but first we need to make sure that XAMPP is actually started you can just click uh, start minimize that and when we go to our browser and we point it towards a uh, local host we should be able to load up the uh, the XAMPP web server so we'll go to the forward slash POS directory, and these are the files that we just copied over. They should match. And once we open the config.php file, we'll need to set up our new database, so call that new POS. And from here, we'll have to open up phpMyAdmin and actually add a new database for the POS. Once that's loaded up, uh, in the top left, we have new, so just click on to new, and we'll type in the POS name. This has to match the config.php file, so we'll call this new POS. After that, we can go into setup, install, uh, database install.php, and just click yes to confirm. Before you confirm, just make sure that uh, this is typed in new POS and that matches the database. So this will take a second to install the POS, and you should be brought to the login page. So just click login. We should have some default data already preloaded onto the system. Here we'll see uh, some sample data. We have some tables already opened with some orders on those tables. And uh, if we click into one, and here we can see a little bit of uh, Heineken that's been added to an order. We can add something extra to the order categories. And that's just about it. Okay, in this video we'll be showing how to set up your actual store, uh, such as things like currency and um, things like decimal points, the store name, uh, the message that you want on your receipt, printouts, and uh, there's a few other things as well, such as printers. So we're going to open this up. Uh, we have an icon on this right now, but we'll be covering that in the next video. So if you just log in, and we go to settings, and then store settings. So here we have a bunch of information. We have the store name, address, phone, receipt message, tax, credit card percent uh, for charges on the credit card, um, currency, uh, decimal characters if you want a dot or a comma, uh, the decimal places, and uh, we have things like the background if you wanted to change the blue background to something a little different. And at the very bottom we have our three printers that we can set up. Uh, typically, you would have one in the kitchen, one in the bar, and one uh, at the actual um, cashier station. So we can change all that information, and as soon as you're finished, you can click Save POS Settings. And we go back to the home screen. We're going to take a quick order here. Uh, you can see if we go into Pasta, we have the, uh, the, the dot as the decimal and uh, two decimal places. So you can change that for whichever currency you're using and uh, that should match up just fine. Thanks. Okay, in this video we'll be showing how to just set up the POS as you would be running it with an actual store operation. So we're going to want to start by opening up Google Chrome and bring it to the actual POS login page and we'll want to go in, in, inside of Chrome, in the top right, we have these three little buttons, and we'll hit More Tools and Add to Desktop. So here we want to make sure that Open as Window is checked off, and just click Add. So what this does is it just adds a nice little uh, 
icon to the desktop where you can right click and pin that to the taskbar so it's down here and we can easily access the POS anytime we need to open up the POS in the future and uh, this should just make things a lot easier for employees so they don't have to worry about opening up Chrome or going to some address to open up the POS nope they just need to open up this little icon and there's the POS every time uh, so we'll, we'll uh, in the next step here we'll be setting up the printers so we should have included a printer service app folder and if we open this up we'll see a uh, a print service.exe so we're going to want to make a shortcut to the desktop and this will just uh, give easy access to the print service so it's running in the background and uh, if we just close that off open up the print service and it should automatically load there we go and we'll go to ticket printing so here we have three buttons we can get back to the home screen we can reload this page if we need and we also have the settings so if we open up the settings, we should get a little pop-up here. And this is where we can define the actual printer locations and assign them to a physical printer that you have installed. If you remember in the last video, I'll open up the POS here again. In the last video, we were in the settings page and we have added the POS printers um, in the store settings. So if we go to the bottom of the store settings, we'll see front cashier, bar printer 2, kitchen printer 1. And we just want to make sure that the POS print client matches that. So we're going to actually have to update this. Copy and paste that in there. And we can assign this to any printer that we like. We have a PDF printer, Microsoft. And when you install your printer, Microsoft will automatically add the printer to your system after you've installed the drivers. And that will automatically show up in this list. So you can select, um, select which printer you're actually going to be assigning to the locations and we just click save and we can close that little window down and that's about all you need to do for the printer setup so if we're going to take a new order and hopefully this is going to work we're going to go breakfast and add a couple things here click checkout and now we're going to print this to our uh, kitchen or bar and there we go it should automatically print because I'm using uh, just a demo printer here I'm getting this pop-up but if you have a physical printer installed, you won't see any pop-up like this, and, uh, and you'll actually get the uh, physical printout going to the correct location. Uh, same goes for receipt. The waitress or waiter, they can select the closest location, so they don't have to always go all the way over to the cashier uh, where the printer is typically held. Uh, they can just select the closest printer to their vicinity. In this case, it might be kitchen printer 1, and this should automatically send a signal to the uh, printer yep it did and uh, that'll automatically print and that pretty much concludes setting up your printers uh, as soon as that was finished you could close that off and um, yeah so this printer client just runs in the background you can minimize that you don't have to have it open and uh, and anytime you're taking an order or taking an order from a tablet uh, that will automatically look for new orders that have been placed and it will automatically sends that print job to the correct location. So I'm just going to quickly do another one here. And yeah, there we go. So that, that looks like it's working. Um, again, this, this window will not pop up with a physical printer. I'm just using uh, uh, just a virtual printer of a sort. Thanks, and uh, that pretty much concludes uh, setting up your printers. If you have any difficulties, you can always contact support, and, um, and we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. Okay, in this video segment, we'll be setting up the home screen and managing some products on the POS. So we had some sample data that we preloaded, and we're going to want to go to PHP My Admin, and we're going to clear out all this sample data. So we have a couple tables here, products, orders, options, and DDIV, and we're just going to click empty and empty these out. Might just take a little time. Empty, OK. And that's it. So if we go back to the POS now, we should have a blank home screen. And if we click on to the uh, Add New, Get Started, we'll type in a table. And so we have no products now either. So for this, we're going to want to open up a new tab in Google Chrome and go to Google, Google Images, or you can use any website that you like. For this, we're going to type in a hamburger. 
we're going to right click and copy that copy image and we go back to the POS and just hit control V on your keyboard to paste and uh, there's a microphone input as well if you'd like to talk in, in order to type in your, your uh, text oops hamburger and the subcategory burgers and we'll put in a price here and just save that and we should automatically have that updated on the POS so we've just added a new product and if you want to edit that just drag it to the bottom left and here we got our information we have some options as well that we can add to this bacon cheese extra patty we can delete those later if you don't need and we'll quickly add another one here let's see do a pepperoni pizza and again just right click the image and copy image go back to the POS control V to paste and it's right there in the in the POS we'll edit this info type in the price and we'll save that so again to edit this we just click on the category drag it edit products and we can enable options if we wanted we can type in a few options for this we'll do extra cheese type in a price and update those options so when we click on pepperoni pizza we're going to notice we have these extra options that you, that a waitress or a waiter can upsell here we have a couple more and just tap on them to easily add here we can tap to add some notes such as no onions oops no onions okay in the last video we added a few products and here we're going to process a customer's order on the home screen right now we have no tables we have one table that we previously added but we'll just click the tools and table layout and here we can just click add new and we can rapidly type in a bunch of new table names you could type in a uh, bar stool you could type in uh, poolside or outdoor seating upstairs seating anything that's really gonna match the floor plan of the business and this is just to identify the table so we can drag these into position and uh, again when you're dragging these they should somewhat match uh, what what the floor plan is but they don't necessarily have to so we'll just move these around just a little bit more and we'll add a couple more. Um, let's see, maybe some bar chairs. Do bar one, bar two, and bar three. Once again, we'll just drag these around uh, just to match. So we've got bar one, bar two, and three. And that's just about it. So we have our home screen set up. We'll go back to the home screen, and this will take a second to synchronize. And that's it. So we can click onto any of these white tables now. And process the first order so here we can click add the product we got the options there this is for guest one so we can change to guest two at the top here Oops, sorry this is guest one and uh, that's that's it so we'll just do one guest for this demo and here we can edit the prices $20 here we'll put a 50% discount on this product and we have some more tools at the top as well that we can show you uh, adding a coupon code uh, you could also add a full discount to the entire order and print this would print uh, the printer ticket and this would print the actual customer receipt and just close that order off as soon as you're finished with it so on the home screen that'll disappear as soon as it's synchronized just takes a couple seconds so let's add a couple more products here and try to populate this okay so there's one that popped in add another and you can always access this later on so here we'll add we'll show you how to add an extra guest here so we'll click guest 2 and we'll hit pizza pepperoni pizza and maybe add an extra burger in there Go to guest three, add the pizza, and check out. So here we got three separate orders on a single table now, and you can split the order up, uh, print individual receipts, and uh, even if you made a mistake, you can just drag it over, no problem there. And just close that as soon as you're finished. And we can do the same with the guest, other guest. Now we're back to the home screen, and that should uh, already be synchronized, and that's it.
Okay, thanks for watching. This pretty much concludes uh, setting up a new POS using XM. You can use this uh, also on an online host, but this was uh, using an offline setup. Uh, some, some other notes might be if you wanted to access this using a tablet or a mobile phone in, on an offline setup, uh, all you'd have to do is bring the browser to the local IP address of that computer. So it might be something like uh, 192.168.1.100. And uh, basically from there, uh, you can, you can uh, point the tablets and the phones towards the POS and uh, very minimal setup on that end. Uh, if there's anything else, uh, this is pretty much part one. We'll have some more videos coming out soon, and if you have any questions, you can always contact support tigerdata.dm. Thanks.